All right, welcome everyone, Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Space, Space Brothers, Brothers, episode 13. 13. Uh -huh. Our team has congregated, and now mm -hmm. we have begun the, the test of figuring out who's the most capable astronauts. Yeah, we know all their names now. Mm -hmm. We know a little bit about their work, their passions, yep. and the things that would make them a good astronaut on the surface. But let's get to know them underneath the surface. Right. See, once that uh, pressure starts to drip, 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 and... You exactly. Know. Let's mm -hmm. work with them for a couple weeks and mm -hmm. see if we still like each other by the end. Yeah, yeah. Or, or, you know, who you would prefer to be on a team with mm -hmm. at the end of this the most. Although I think we know who Muta's choice is. I think we know who Muta's choice is. Yeah. But is Cedrica's choice going to be him? So far, things are looking good. Because, yeah, you know, he also likes her name and all that stuff. Yeah, so. and they are going to do the meals together, mm -hmm. which is fun. Yeah. I, I do like that they're already finding groups within this setup. Like, even the old guy, uh, Naoto, mm -hmm. basically complimented the research right. that uh, Furia or Yasushi was doing. Yeah, that bit of, like, potentially diffusing the situation if he's the more abrasive of, you mm -hmm. know, the teammates and stuff. And now he's like, oh, right, okay, yeah, no, I am a legit, you know, scientist. Or, like, that guy that respects stuff. me. Oh, yeah. I'm going to naturally right. try to gravitate towards him. Mm -hmm. Because if it's two people and they oh, end up sure. doing this kind of thing here, you could end up with things being more clicky, which is... JoJo's uh, character is, you know, standing out in the cold. Well, well, right, know. right. But if he's standing out in the cold, he might draw attention to it and be mm -hmm. like, ah, but you see what these people are doing is they're not actually sure. trying to show you what makes a good astronaut. They just, they're just trying to butter you, you know, yeah, butter yeah. you up. Right. And he could call out Muta in game. that regard if Muta's, you know, Muta sure. seems like he's crushing on Serika. Right. Like, theoretically, the old guy could have totally clocked that in, like, a very cunning way of, like, ah, no, he's just crushing on her, so... He's not gonna ever pick me, right? You know, right. Right. So yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. possible. There's there's some whole there's some whole fun social dynamics that I'm mm -hmm. excited to see them get into here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, y'all. Without further ado, let's get into this. Cool. Hmm. Okay. Heart rate monitor, maybe. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Yeah, there's some okay. crazy tech out there. Okay. <laughs> お兄ちゃん。いや。ま、たお兄ちゃん。いや。どんなぞ、ティンクスでアジテイトム。おい、ニッタ君。うん。俺のこと下の名前で。ナイス。ナイス。ナイス。ナイス。ナイス。ナイ
That's more than one every 10 seconds. Four ten. What? Wait, wait. That was right? Oh, 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 80. Okay. Oh my god! He's getting way harder numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah。While running though, that's yeah. going to make it harder to actually run though. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my wow. god. Wow. That's Yeah, rough. roast him then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow. Wait! His imagination was so good! That he's like, this wouldn't be staying still, obviously. Right, right, right. <laughs> so much better. How did Seneca do? Okay. Hmm. Oh. Cool. Yo. Oh my god. Yeah. The memory is gonna be That's insane. nuts. Okay. Yeah, this is his specialty. Ah. Right. Okay. You gotta be professional. Right, right. right. I kind of like his perspective on this yeah. a lot more, though. But this also might just be to see how you, you know, uh -huh. respond to things like this. True. The idea that the bracelet might be the entire test and it's not really to see right, whether it's a you placebo. can do everything. Yeah. It's just to see how calm you can be under the pressure of everything. Mm -hmm. That would be crazy. Oh, sure. I mean, I feel like that would make sense, right? Because... Right. right. Okay. How do you... Oh... This is cool. This is why Hibito is such a big deal. Oh, sure. Right, right, right. Fun! Nice. Yeah, yeah. You need to draft the letter. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Gonna do like a pros and cons list or something? Yeah. I'm glad we keep getting uh like more of them as kids like throughout mm -hmm. the story and everything. Mm. Whoa. Okay. I know where 
つまり世界の終わりなんですね、right. そこに前後と左右に行ける二次元アリさんがやってきますお,おいダメだってセーブでしょ誰がなこと決めたんだ、yeah. 二次元アリさんはその小石を見て言います横に回っていけばいいじゃない大丈夫だってほらほら This is actually、okay. kind of fun to say because ants are so uniform they will move in a straight line until、right. they interact with an object, so they'll either go over it or around it.、Mm -hmm. But they'll always follow the one directly like, in front of it. Right. Like, pretty common. Yeah. Ah.、Uh, mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. But to change their perspective about Earth, yeah.、Mm -hmm. Right. Wow. Well, it's such a great story because it can reach a child in this way, too. Ganko so na caster ni tsuyo surundaroka. Nijigen ari no sekai ni zutto to domate iru kono hitoni. It's a good question. Abareru no a makabe ka oreka kitamura. Makabe wa shikiro to surno ga kini kuanai. Mikun wa domu? And he gets him to engage. Sabette mo in desko. Tozen dio. Sine show da karate, endio surkoto anayo. Americano soca, back me stuff. Oh, here he's about to spell. It is no kagaksha, James Rabrokua, Chikuo Gaia to you, save it that to it deimas. Right. It is no kagaksha, Richard Dawkins no kotaba de Tsnakarimasta. Ningen mo yaba. 地球という生命の遺伝子です、oh. 地球は自分のコピーを作ろうとします yeah. I like it. Yeah. 人間は地球の遺伝子だからですって言ってもこのキャスターに伝わりそうにないよ問題は彼女を納得させられる抗議文を作ることだそれこそが正解だよ yeah, you can go a bit too high concept, potentially. ものがあるのかな、mm -hmm. 答えは重要じゃないきっとジャクサが見たい Well, you could use something other than genes, maybe, that gets the point across. Right. Because now it's basically you have a potential winning argument, you just need to translate it for her. <laughs> That's not going to win her over. ズバッとしすぎじゃね大阪人気質ってやつか。NK も大概やないか。外国に行って自分の国の問題や良さが改めてわかるように、宇宙という広い世界に行って初めて地球の良さがわかることもある。It is fairly safe. It 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 is f ノグチさんの三次元アリの話を思い出して書いただけで。は、ほう、わ。で、答えはまとまったの、お兄ちゃん。Basically what you said。が出した答えはこっちで。なやこれ、白紙やんけ。白紙。おいおい、ギブアップってことか。うん。いやだから。抗議はしないっていう答えだよ。ああ、sure. yeah. 次元ありのことを考えてたら、okay. ああそう思えてきた。ガチガチの二次元頭の人に三次元の魅力や意味は言葉じゃなかなか伝わらないよ。じゃあどうすればいいかっつったら、okay. Just do it anyways. 連れていくしかないよ。Whoa. 宇宙っていう三次元に。Easier said than done. But you're right, that's the point, though, is that. 
飛行機だったりそうだったりとか、ね yeah. like、いやあかんってそれじゃあかんあかん抗議文を書いてください言うといに抗議しないっちゅう答えはないわ I mean that is one of the most disarming things you can do えな発言したのは今の話や悪影響が出てんのは今そんな先の時代まで待ってられへん今すぐ抗議せな心配ないよ日々人がいる。Yeah. Nice. もうすぐ日々人が月に立つんだ。日本人が初めて月に行くんだよ。Yeah. みんなきっとワクワクしながら夜空を見上げると思うな。Ah. Okay. 誰に批判されたって日々人が帳消しにしてくれるよ。Cool. There's something about when you see someone doing something、mm -hmm. like begs belief, you know, that you then go, wait a minute. Right. What? What about my perspective is limited? I'm not sure what I'm saying. 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 Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. I love the way、nice. in which Muta's whole thing breaks the puzzles. Yeah. And it's kind of his own approach to things as well. Oh, absolutely. But it's something really fun to see people that don't fit inside the box. Mm -hmm. Being given、Thinking、the opportunity to have their skills or idiosyncrasies be、mm -hmm. kind of elevated like this. And sometimes it doesn't work, like with the abacus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, wouldn't an abacus just be slower normally, anyways? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I will just tell you personally, there's so many quick ways to do、oh, yeah. like uh, PEMDAS, math. PEMDAS yeah. math, you know, not like,、mm. not like actual math, but like、right. arithmetic. Uh -huh. Where you can use visual tricks.、Sure. Um, there's drawings that you can do that automatically give you the answer no matter how big the equation is. Oh.、Hmm. Um, and so you could do those in your head. Okay. okay. Puzzles、right. and social experiments、yep. and managing stress levels.、Mm -hmm. Yep,、like、all、it. in a day's work. Yeah, I really like the perspective that Nita gives on this of being、mm -hmm. the person that like reads into everything.、Mm -hmm. It adds a nice bit of tension for like the, oh no, Muta and the others don't know about this, while at the same time it being something where it's like sort of the setup of the one side of the equation so that then we can also maybe see the other side that he's not、for、seeing、sure. of like, Yeah, but realistically, yes, is it keeping your cool? Absolutely. But it's also the no, no, no. We want to see how you respond, right? Because it's、right. not necessarily that it's like, no, you have to keep your cool all the time. No, you it's you that we want to see what things will get under your skin or, you know, like get a rise out of you or something. Right, right, right. And we did a whole bunch of things in this setup to really make sure we're testing that.、Mm -hmm. Just the idea of putting five people in a box for two weeks. Know, yeah, two that'll. Weeks. That's going to do, do a lot for most people.、Mm -hmm. But the idea of being able to then build bonds and get stronger of a connection with those people during that time, that's, that's almost like a necessity. So you、yeah. better be doing that at the bare minimum. So you can already tell certain people are just not going to do well this、right. in, the, in the long haul. And that's, that's the thing that, I was, that I'm kind of surprised that Nita isn't thinking about as much, but that might be where that's his, his weakness of like. Him being like, I'm such a badass, I'm not thinking about connecting with these people, and that that might be one of the most important things to do here. You、mm -hmm. see how five people get along when you're, you know, in an in a enclosed box for two weeks, right? Right. And I do think that there's nothing that he's doing outside of the Onii Chan thing that is innately bad in、right. that regard. And even that is kind of a.、Uh, That's kind of a dig, but it's not,、uh, it's not inherently. Right. You know, it's more like a, a see, how that, thing. see how that gets you know, magnified over two weeks. You exactly. Know? Right.、Yeah. Right. And so having them each do basically stress tests、right. is really fun here.、Uh, I like that they took the physical approach quickly because I was a little, bit, a little bit odd still that our、uh, rocket scientist, even though he's smart, He's like, he's old. really old. Yeah. What is he doing here?、Mm -hmm. And it's the,、yeah. no, no, he can, he can work just fine. So he's、yep. probably built different down、mm -hmm. there.、So. Oh, yeah. It's the,、uh, he's, he's kept、uh, his body in very good shape, you know, for a very long time. And, you know, yeah, no, no problems as far as being able to run during those five minutes, which, you know, five minutes of uninterrupted running for an old person, that's, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Five minutes of uninterrupted actual running. Right. right. Even for me, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. Yeah. Let's not. Yeah, I do like that Muta actually struggled with this not because the abacus didn't work in the he can't、mm -hmm. do the math himself. It's the 
not. He ended up basically simulating the abacus in conjunction with his physics. Yeah, that's hilarious, <laughs> bro. I thought it was just gonna be that he would like get dizzy or something because he's trying to imagine a static object while yeah. he's you know running and whatever. Yeah, but no, it's actually just that it just messed up. I, yeah. I love that they started doing basic arithmetic because I would say I am decently good at doing mm -hmm. basic arithmetic. Yeah. Uh, quickly in my head mm -hmm. uh, but it was really funny when the other guy was getting like oh you know 12 times 45 oh what oh, is no. that what's the answer yeah Muta gets like 86 times 156 and I'm like immediately right. like my it's like, are dry. I'm like one of these things is not like the other I'm like well you can do the the 150 you know trick mm -hmm. to, to get it but you still have to do the other part of six times 86 and I'm like right Wait, you have to do this all quickly? Well, and also, 12 is just such an easy number to multiply by anything because it's basically 10. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, any any of those, right. there's there's tricks you can do for all kinds of them. But I, I just love that we went from that to Muta on his second question was getting one that right. made the other one look like basically <laughs> like nothing. easy. Yeah. And there was even one that was like a subtraction question, which is like... The subtraction is so easy. Wait, like there that was really? the very first question oh that Nita God. got asked was a subtraction question. Wow. Like that's maybe, a, maybe it's just to break up the sure, you know, to, the, the, the mental Right, right. So that you don't get patterns. stuck in any any one track or whatever. But right. yeah, that definitely does feel like the playing a video game. Yeah, you yeah. know, our team fires everywhere, you know, <laughs> like nobody working together, and shooting each other like in the clouds face. and yeah, happy. Their team, you know, <laughs> SWAT gear and like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, we 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 might not know each other at all, but we're coordinating perfectly. Right, right. Um, but then the perspective shift, mm -hmm. and I like that. In some ways, everyone kind of got this point here. Pretty much everybody that commented on what they would need to do, other than even really uh, uh, Yasushi, he mm -hmm. kind of got at this a little bit. Well, basically, was that there's a perspective here that is unhelpful from the journalist, right? Mm -hmm. But there are ways in which we can give you a shift in perspective by not necessarily just looking at something a different way or bringing up something like you didn't know about it or something, mm -hmm. but saying that, hey, we have fundamental proof that there are ways in which your perspective will naturally change when you reposition yourself, when you move yourself from where you're at sure. to another yeah, place. That's what perspective is. Yeah. Well, right, but there's ways in which I think people very poorly try to change other people's perspective by just making their perspective louder. Yes. And you can't change anybody's mind that way. Right. You really can't. It's it's so frustrating that like that's what most of our quote unquote debate nowadays has become. Yes. It's just screaming your perspective louder. And that's what a persuasive essay effectively like what they were trying to mm -hmm. to write is supposed to do. Yes. Is um paint that addition that different perspective right like it's you know, like a story you have to right. be guided to exactly that place. so it's the hey even if you have this different perspective cool let me show you how i see things you know and here's why and all of these things you know so that that way even if they don't you know even if it's they're not willing to change their mind they can at least see your perspective and be like okay i get that that i i can believe that that is a thing that you believe even if i choose not to adopt that right right but right. So Muta basically just kind of spat in the face of the entire test and was mm -hmm. like, you know, the only real societal way that people are going to stop seeing the negatives of space is when they go up there. Right. Which doesn't mean, oh, we spend more money on... No, I'm, I'm, I'm no. talking about the opposite in that, I'm sorry, I don't care about changing your perspective. Right. Honestly, you keep doing what you're doing. You keep us sharp. You well, keep us on our toes. Uh, sure. And then what we'll do is we'll take your grandchildren to space. Yeah, and that would that would be definitely one hell of a persuasive like letter. Yeah, because you can you can do that now. Because in some ways, that's what I wanted to say was that Yashishi Yashi, is kind of right. Is that it's mm. the if it wasn't for you people like you, we might be vacationing on Mars right now. He's right in a way. Right. But it's the just point is how do you say that in a way that's actually helpful but that's the thing is that basically that if you look at the projection or the trajectory of civilization mm -hmm. space is inevitable it's either going to come sooner or later it's not sure. it's not what it's not if it's when yeah so if you want to slow that down go for it 
yeah, there's plenty mm -hmm. of good logical reasons why it shouldn't go as fast as humanly possible. But do yeah. you want us to take you up to space? Do well, you want us to take your grandchildren up to space? Do you want us to take your great, great, great grandchildren up to space? One of the other fun things that that argument that you're putting forth circumvents mm -hmm. is, um, hey, do we think this person actually thinks this or are they a mm -hmm. biased narrator that has a personal investment in basically drumming up something that will cause people to watch their stuff because, oh, oh, yeah. oh we're scared. We need to know about this thing that they're telling us about, right? Oh, totally. And so, you know, uh, it's it's not even really something for for her. It's for her her viewers. It's it's something that she won't be able to just right. fall back on. Ah, but I'm paid basically to not like this, right? Right, right. And you know, so something like, hey, great job. You're keeping us sharp. You know, yeah. Like that's that so completely like circumvents and undercuts it in that kind of you know ants going around or going over kind right. of a way. Yeah. That the person wouldn't really have too much to do like in response to that, yeah. right? Like even if they continue as they, as they have been, you've already said, great, that's helpful to have because we wanna make sure we're doing this right or, or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. right? As opposed to, you know, and, and then it's also implicitly not making them the enemy, mm -hmm. which then if that is like, you know, arguments and everything aside, yeah. right? You need to make it so that they're not the enemy first so that they'll actually right. listen to your arguments. Right. Otherwise, they'll just go off in a huff or be like, ah, whatever, you know, I don't know if I believe you or, you know, yada, 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 right? Right, because I, I love the argument of basically, uh, we should be more aware of where the tax money mm -hmm. that we're giving to the government is going. Do you know? I, I check yearly basically because i believe there's some stuff where you can actually like get like implicit government budget data of like oh yeah this is where the you know 2024 mm -hmm. usa sure. budget you know you know stuff was allocated to i can't go into the the, know, details, the details right but like general departments but general and departments like and things like that yeah. and i i find that to be extremely important to know about because that informs the way I like vote. That informs the way that I sure. Like, petition. And it's just generally eye opening. Well, petition. Well, I just petition other people to basically take certain uh, societal things more seriously. Sure. Of like, hey, for whatever reason, this side of government spending was cut to move over to here. Mm -hmm. Why? Why is that? Like, what? Yeah. What? Like, that's something that I feel like is really important of a journalist to ask those questions because they're educating people. It's like, did you know that right now, yeah. uh, our government is spending on an annual basis, you know, 20 billion to send an unmanned spacecraft or 40 billion to send a manned spacecraft. It's like, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, thank you for letting us know. And we're like, yep, we see the long-term value of the ways in which we can bring uh, benefit to the human race and species by, uh, gaining what we can in space. Now there are other space programs out there. There's other countries sure. working on this and stuff. But through collaboration, we're going to be able to get more out of the money that you guys so, you know, mm -hmm. uh, generously. I mean, I mean, not even generously, yeah. but end up end up funneling that way. I mean, I, I, yeah. I love to sit down and talk with people about that because it just feels, it feels important. It feels like it's at the very least educational. And the very least, oh sure. I mean, I'm sorry. That at more the upper end of things, it's inspirational, of like, oh my gosh, that's what's needed, in right. order to send somebody to space. And that's where Serika's Whoa. response is real is is helpful because it's it is truly just educational, right? Yeah. Because, um, you know, assuming that it's not some ill intent, I'm just spouting this stuff because it boosts my you know viewership numbers or whatever. No, it's right? a it's a good question. It's a good question. Yeah, and so yeah. then it's the you know like uh, people are. People are telling you what they need from you right. all the time. All right? the time. Whether yeah. whether you're talking about in relationships or you know or wherever, even with people that don't like you, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. They're telling you, yeah. and so you just need to be able to listen. And so in the case right. of hey, it costs this much for an unmanned, you know, spacecraft, and it costs way more for a manned spacecraft. Why are we doing that? And so Sarah's whole thing of like, well, you know. Let's list out the benefits of what you get by having it be a manned spacecraft, right? right? You know, and the things that you can do that you wouldn't be able to do if it was unmanned. Yeah. Here you go. This is this is We're what the money is getting at the very least, right? Yeah. And then that that progresses the conversation, and then you can say, you know, and talk about, you know, uh, continue the conversation with whether or not you think that's worth it, right? But this there is an actual thing that you're getting as a result of it being this, right? Way. Because she made a uh, 
she made an assumption that there have been no benefits to society since doing this. And Serica's like, that's actually completely untrue. I rather than mm -hmm. um, attacking the um, like the person uh, or well, no, 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 yeah. attacking the the in some ways the uh, the the distraction dummy here mm. and basically accepting by attacking the funding, letting that statement fly of there's been no benefit to society, sure. you're basically implying that I'm trying to defend why there's no benefit to society right. for this amount of money. Yeah, because you can you can get at it from either side, right? Mm -hmm. Either from the, oh, how much money we're spending on it versus what we're getting from the money we're spending right. on it. Right, and yeah. I think the point that Serica made is really smart in that, no, you actually don't have perspective on the benefits that are coming to society because you either just aren't educated or it's kind of stuff that hasn't actually shown the meaningful fruit yet, but it is progressively getting to that point. Right. The idea that you don't just go to space and immediately like, Broop, you have iridium now. This it's, isn't Mass Effect 2 yeah, yeah. or what have you. Scan for element we zero. Scan yeah. for you know the random elements. It just, broop, yeah. it just mm -hmm. happens. But research has been being done. It is continuing to be uh, being done with regards to medical stuff. And so the idea of going for specifics in that regard, I feel like uh, does a better job from like a debate angle. Mm -hmm. But the idea that they went with Muta's idea, well, you know, let's actually not send it. Let's not send it at all. Mm -hmm. I, I, I love yeah. it. I love it. Yeah. There's, there's so many times where people, I feel like, also try to get you into a debate over a thing that's right, like, where it's like once you once you play the game you you've kind you've of already kind of, lost you've kind of lost or at the very least you started making it about something so limiting mm -hmm. that the perspective right. of yeah. what the scope of what you're working on is so completely lost to begin with right you had, you accepted their playing field and right. they might have yeah in right if, incomplete views if space is another dimension oh yeah for humanity well, why would you go and limit it to talking about this funding side so of things that's here? where i thought the ant thing the last thing i have to say for this episode but last thing i thought or uh what i, where I thought the ant thing was gonna go mm -hmm. is the okay one dimension into two dimensions two dimensions into three dimensions and what's after three dimensions right and that's space right the infinite expanse of you know just everything mm -hmm. out there right and so that's you know that's how, what we need to get past now it doesn't quite work that way because you know the fourth dimension is time but yeah. you know and so and that certainly wouldn't have worked for the metaphor no. but yeah. i thought that was going to be something of like the no, yeah. no no space is that next frontier like right. it's inherently a, a broadening broadening of our horizons because we've never seen anything but this tiny little rock and yeah. We can kind of look out there with our telescopes right. and things like that. Right. We haven't actually been out there. We no. You know, yeah. No. But uh, having also a uh, our Rubik's Cube kid mm. oh, yeah, kind of cool. do the, I'm going to quote a whole bunch of people that I've memorized their stuff from because, you know, he's actually a genius. The kid right. can, like, recall this stuff here. Probably not because he read up on that recently but because he's got like an eidetic memory or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and he's like, yeah, they've all made commentary on what humanity is to Earth and what then Earth is in the cosmos. Sure. And it's either a spaceship, it's Gaia, you know, it's, uh, you know, an organism. Uh, then what are we to the spaceship or the organism? Are we the genes of the Earth? Are we potentially cells that... Uh, need to be uh, mutated so that we don't end up bringing effectively cancer to the earth. I, I love the metaphors played out even more with this one here of the, oh, well, if you want to talk more matter of fact here, the problems on earth will either get solved or they won't. It doesn't matter. But on some level, one of the best ways to keep the problems of earth from becoming the end all be all is to well not have it be a single point of failure well yeah not have it be a single point of failure and do in a lot of ways what the earth and our species was meant to do you know continue to spread continue right. to replicate we can't do that forever on earth that's just not yeah. going to work. And saying it in this way that gets people's minds to think by taking all these great quotes into context and going, 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I love that people are like, whoa, that was cool. Whoa. But the problem is, is like, that's not very ne- that's not necessarily very persuasive. That just gets people to think, you know? Well, and it works for scientists. It might not work for us, you know, a TV spokesperson and even less so for their audience, right? Mm-hmm. You know, but it did. <laughs> people kind of go, huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But <laughs> yeah. I, I do love how they had it be the thing of the, hey, um, listening is a hell of a drug, mm-hmm. and when you spend a lot of time listening, yes. maybe you can, you know, have true. a really great response. You know. Yep. Yep. That's right? true. Because and th- and that's and that's what we're getting. Mm-hmm. Basically, all these characters are giving their opportunity to be listened to, but right. also to kind of pay attention to their compatriots. Yeah. And Hopefully, these, listen these to each other. Yeah. And hear kind of mm-hmm. who each other is. Right. Amidst all the stress of this because situation. If you think two weeks is a long time to get to know someone or you know a lot of time to spend with someone imagine two months or three or, months uh, yeah space mission yeah, yeah exactly. exactly yeah or you might be living together for right and get real long. comfortable yeah yeah but all right y'all thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now though go check out the link in the description below for our patreon and get on early access there you can watch full length timer reactions there and all this comes with discord access so you can chat with us in the community there about this show about anime in general and also be sure to check out our twitch channel see if any of that interests you we'll see you there but until then we're semblance of sanity i'm caleb i'm jacob and we'll see you all next time